Liebe Zuschauer, liebe Skoda-Fans, herzlich well, willkommen in Schweden. Zur hello Welt and a, des welcome Neuen everyone here to Sweden to the presentation of um, Skoda Karok. Here we have a small island here close to Stockholm. We're going to present a very special species to you because tonight the Karok is going to get its freedom. It's going to get. We're going to get started straight away, but. Just a couple of impressions from Stockholm. Now, this is a Stockholm, quite a big city and a big country. And welcome to Sweden. Here in Sweden, we've got more than 220,000 different islands. 14 islands make up Stockholm. That's the biggest city of Scandinavia and the capital of Stockholm. Und die haben es enorm schön, denn Stockholm wird aufgrund seiner well, unzähligen Stockholm Brücken auch wie des Nordens City genannt. It's called the Venice of die the Metropole North as well because of the number of bridges. It's among the top 10 of the most beautiful cities on earth. And if you don't like city life anymore, then you just take your car or take a boat and then you go here to Artipilag, for example. And Artipilag, well, you're surrounded by art and by nature, and also today by the new Skoda Karok. Now we're getting started for the world premiere, and this is the star of tonight, and obviously we're not going to unveil it straight away. I mean, now that we're so close to it, let's try, let's try. No. Okay then. Okay, so the Skoda guys are really taking good care of their car here, so we have to be a bit patient. But we're not the only ones who really tried to get a first glance at the new Karok. Hey, we're gonna try and get a glimpse of the Karok. Come on. We want to catch it in the wild. Can you hear that? It's coming towards us. Oh, wait. Right there. You see that? We're close. Come on. Did you see it? Now it's going north. It must have just come through here. Come on. Go to family. It's still completely covered in camouflage, but you get an idea of what's coming. You ready for a ride? Whoa, Kettle, easy. Well, a lot has been written about it and discussed about it, well, about the fact of the name. What is this going to be called, this new SUV? And now we know it's going to be called Skoda Karok. But where does this name actually come from and what does it actually mean? Everything we do is based on the core of our brand, driven by inventiveness. Clever ideas since 1895. Combining a rich cultural heritage of Czech cubism, bohemian crystal, architecture, and product design with our strongest asset, Škoda's car design language, to form the ultimate symbol of our brand DNA, the crystal arrowhead. Inspired by the Czech flag, the digital play button, the hat-check on the S of Škoda, as well as the inspiration for movement. And of course, the Škoda logo, the winged arrow, 
which itself was inspired by Native American culture, and not just the logo. One of Alaska's native tribes call an arrow Rook, while the Alotic people of Kodiak, Alaska call a car Karak. Combine these two with an inventive IQ and you get another way to name a car, giving birth to an SUV with heart and soul. Ladies and gentlemen, the brother of the Kodiak, the all-new Škoda Karak, the next milestone in our SUV strategy. Škoda, simply clever. So, liebe Zuschauer, und nun ein Märchen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in our little fairy tale, before the new Karok came to Sweden, well, it had to really travel quite far from Lada Boleslav in the Czech Republic. It went to Prague, and for the very first time, it went to see the big city. But Prague became far too small for the Karok quite quickly, and then it traveled on, it traveled to Berlin. But Berlin did not really make the Karok happy, and that's why it found its way all the way up to Sweden, but no one actually really saw this particular car here in Sweden. But this is going to change very soon with the world premiere of Karok. And let me just present the host tonight, Jens Kartemann, who is uh, the head of Skoda Communication. Well, Skoda fans, welcome to this world premiere of the Skoda Karok here in Sweden. Well, we ordered fantastic weather for you here, and we're really ready to go and show the car to to all of you. Oh, we're very happy to see so many of you here today and so many of you are with us via the internet and now we're really ready to go for it to really see the car live on stage without camouflage. Enjoy our show and the stage is yours, the new Koda Skoda Rock.
to pěkně, co? Jo, ale oni jsou skvěle těžký, ty bagy, tak to snad. Jo, počkej, až to tady bude vlast. No, to tam už je venku jedno, ale někdo, nebo tam nikdo není u té kamery? Jako venku. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world premiere of our new Škoda Karok. It's an honor for us to have you all here. Please let me first of all ask you to use your headphones for translation. We allow us to make our presentations in German. Translations are available in English on channel 1, in Czech on channel 2, in Chinese on channel 3, in Russian on channel 4 and in French on Channel 5. Meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, Ladies über 350 Journalisten und Journalisten aus 29 Ländern sind heute hier zum Premiere des neuen Karok nach Stockholm gekommen. Die weiteste Anreise hatten die Kollegen aus China, an sie gibt deshalb ein ganz besonderer Gruß. Wir freuen uns, dass Sie alle da sind. Zahlreiche Persönlichkeiten aus Politik und Gesellschaft sowie wichtige Vertreter großer Handelsorganisationen sind ebenfalls unserer Einladung gefolgt. Ihnen allen ein ganz herzliches Willkommen. Ganz besonders begrüße ich den Botschafter der Tschechischen Republik, Jerzy Sittner, Vitislav Blasek, Vitislav Blasek, Direktor von Czech Trade in Schweden und selbstverständlich den gesamten Skoda-Vorstand mit unserem Vorstandsvorsitzenden Bernhard Mayer an der Spitze. Meine Damen und Herren, mit dem Skoda Karok steht das nächste Modell unserer SUV-Offensive in den Startlöchern. Die letzten Testkilometer sind absolviert, jetzt kann es endlich losgehen. Sie sind heute die Ersten, die live und ohne Tarnfolie erleben können. Doch nun genug der Vorrede, begrüßen Sie bitte mit mir auf der Bühne den Vorstandsvorsitzenden von Skoda, Bernhard Meyer. Menschen vermögen es immer wieder Time Neues, again, noch nie dagewesenes und faszinierendes in ihrer Erschaffung und Kreativität zu schaffen. Und wenn das erste Mal in der Schweiz so ein Moment ist, ist es immer so ein Moment. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Herzlich willkommen in Stockholm. Herzlich willkommen zur Weltpremiere des neuen Skoda Karak. Gut vier Jahre intensiver Entwicklungsarbeit liegen jetzt hinter uns. Die Ingenieure und Techniker haben über 2,5 Millionen Testkilometer mit Versuchsfahrzeugen und Prototypen zugelegt. Und genau damit haben wir unser jüngstes Familienmitglied intensiv auf den Ernst des Lebens vorbereitet. Very intensely for the 
the serious challenges of life as a big car. SUV For the first time, we're presenting our new compact SUV to the, the onlooking world. And that makes this day a very special day for the whole of the Skoda team. Heute, meine Damen and I'm Herren, very, very pleased, ladies and gentlemen, to have you all here, all, all of you who are physically here. And then, of course, all those, so several hundred thousand onlookers who are Skoda here because Compact they're watching the stream or listening to the stream a warm welcome to the large Skoda family around the globe. Meine Damen und Herren, wir haben Schweden nicht Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, no coincidence that we chose Sweden as a venue for this world premiere, because this country, its inhabitants and our new SUV model have quite a few things in common. Firstly, a tremendous amount of space that is available. Of course, um, this is a Skoda, so this is true for all of our cars. But the same holds true for Sweden. 9.8 million inhabitants live on 447,000 square kilometers. That is a mere 22 people per square kilometer. Sweden thus is one of the most sparsely populated countries in Europe. And in a nutshell, the amount of space on offer is hard to match in Sweden and, of course, in our new Skoda Karok. And uh, I'm sure you have perceived this already in an impressive way. Secondly, a top degree of digital connectivity. Our new SUV is fully connected and always online. And the same holds true for Sweden. There is hardly any other country that can boast such a high number of startups, for example, Spotify, Klarna, or Candy Crush have emerged in this country. And when people here have to visit their public authorities, they no longer go there. They comfortably do it online. You can pay your taxes via sending an SMS. Ladies and gentlemen, a modern El Dorado. Recently, some 300 staff of a Swedish company voluntarily had a chip implanted into their hand so that they could walk into their office building thing, open doors automatically and operate photocopiers without touching them. Now, that, that has inspired us slightly, but uh, we shall let you know in a little while what that has led to. And you don't need to worry. We're not going that far with our Karok yet. Uh, we can continue to conventionally open it with a normal key, but he will go right under your skin. That is what I can promise. Thirdly, there are extraordinary all-round skills and capabilities. Abilities. Sweden unites the best of urbanism and nature. Stockholm is one of the most beautiful cities of the old continent, and at the same time, 53% of the country is covered in wood. That is more than anywhere else in Europe. The perfect offering for urbanites, just as well as nature lovers. And it is precisely here in this tension field between city and countryside, our Karak is at its happiest. And fourth, not to be forgotten, an attractive look. Sweden doesn't just have Stockholm to boast, which is clearly one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, but they have this unique nature around them. But the people, too, are particularly attractive, and those who come here are of special attraction. The Swedes, actually, just by the way, in a study, the Swedes recently were ranked as the best, best dressed Europeans. Now, you'll ask her, for God's sake, why is he telling us that? What's that got to do with the Karok? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Uh, because with a Skoda Karak in future, you will always be the best dressed car about. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know that we're living in times of massive disruptions in the automotive industry. Mega trends such as rapidly progressing digitization, urbanization, or the quest for an ever cleaner environment are setting the tracks. Then there are social changes, new customer wants in the framework of a shared economy. Economy, one thing goes for sure, the automotive world will change fundamentally in the coming years. Skoda will actively shape this transformation process. Uh, from a position of strength, we have started with our strategy 2025, and we have thus presented a comprehensive plan for the future. In doing so, we have triggered the biggest change in the history of our company. 
And it is an ongoing thing. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it continues to hold true. Quality is before quantity. We are still talking about controllable, well-controlled growth. And it is especially the case now when we're investing in all these new technologies. What does that mean? Well, we will consistently pursue the future and further electrification of our model range. Um, with our study, Vision E, we have recently um, used the opportunity of the Shanghai Auto Show to show our vision of electropowered and autonomous driving. As early as 2019, we'll have scored a superb with a plug-in hybrid, plug hybrid technology and we'll enter it into European markets. And up to 2025, there will be a whole host of five additional electropowered vehicles in different segments. This clearly shows that uh, we are developing e-mobility ever further, and we're becoming a service provider, a comprehensive provider of mobility service. It is actually true to stay in control and to make sure that we actively, if not proactively, shape the process of change. And we're building on our existing business because as a consequence, we develop our business further, consistently so, by combining the best of two worlds. We're linking our know-how as an automotive OEM with the intelligence of the digital world today to offer innovative mobility solutions solutions that make our lives easier, more effective, more attractive and safer, very much in the sense of simply clever. Well, one part of uh, this strategy is our new DigiLab, which we opened in Prague last October. New young teams, creative teams, will be researching and developing new business models. And there it is above all about uh, a stronger influence of digital technologies into Škoda and its business. Um, intelligent algorithms, new mobility services, connectivity allow for very different new business segments around the digitization of individual mobility. We expect them to significantly co contribute to the sales and returns of our company by 2025. Now, ladies and gentlemen, besides electromobility and the new services, Škoda consistently pursues the expansion of its model range, of course, in the framework of the strategy 2025. The focus in doing so is first and foremost on the expansion of our SUV range as a first important step towards a wider product strategy. With the Kodiak, uh, we have already set an important milestone on this route. And now, today, we are launching a new compact SUV, the Škoda Karok. We are adding a brother to the Kodiak and put it on wheels and onto the road. We are convinced that Škoda Karok is opening up a new chapter in in the success story of SUVs at Škoda. Now, that story actually began eight years ago with the Yeti, of which uh, we sold for an average of 100,000 vehicles per annum to customers all over the place. That is no less than 10% of global total Škoda sales. We actually expect that the Karak will do much more than that. You will actually see it soon. It is a dyed in the wall Škoda. You will see fantastic space, top degree of functionality, most modern technology, lots and lots of uh, simply clever solutions. And it's as digitized and as in networked and connected as never before. And all of that has been attractively wrapped in an emotional design. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an old truths that the whole thing is always a lot more than the sum of its individual parts. And you know that we always felt that a Škoda has to be this little bit more of a car. And with the Karak, we're emphasizing exactly this request. The Karak will accompany you through all of life's avenues, through all situations. It's a companion for all of life's challenges and opportunities, a car for on- and off-road duties. And it is, once more, the best offering available in this segment. And, typical of Škoda, it is well-placed right between two different segments, at the top end of things, between the compact and the middle-class SUV segments, 
Prince. Uh, and uh, here it is ready to show a new face in the range of uh, SUVs and to, to help the presence of Skoda worldwide. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready now? Are you ready? Because we don't want uh, to make you wait any longer. Stage three for the new Skoda Karok. The start of a new day. It's simply brighter with a good friend. He puts things into perspective, opens up new horizons. Life is a journey, which is more fun with a good friend, who is always by your side, keeps you going, and gives you enough roominess. When the sun lights up the world, it's time to catch some daydreams. With a good friend, you feel free, flexible and spontaneous. It's the sum of little details which make him endearing and reliable. Especially when you need some simply clever advice. Or when a helping hand is of absolute utility. Best friends have this special connection, whether they're close to each other or far away. It's like an invisible band holding friendship together. It gives you orientation and security. Thanks to connectivity, friends are always close to you. It's the ultimate an intuitive way of understanding each other. Life is subject to constant movement. It is the fuel for new life stories, great adventures, and it's the ultimate design for a long-lasting friendship. Lange Ladies haben wir auf ihn gewartet und hier ist er nun so der neue time, Skoda, and here Skoda. It is, the new Skoda Karok.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, with all those good properties of a Škoda automobile, top-notch automotive technology and the true elegance, elegance and to dynamism of the new SUV shape, step by step we have expanded on our existing model range and uh, more than 1.1 million customers per annum by now are opting in favor of one of our vehicles. With the Škoda Karok, we are now taking the next step of strengthening our position in this important segment. Now, today, we'll set it free. We'll put it on the road, here, now, and with you, and I'm firmly convinced it will do well. Well, one very important part in this um, uh, is, is in the colleagues who have worked towards this and made this possible, because we in Škoda can only be so successful because of you. You have put your passion, your wealth your, and health, your ideas, your strength and your diligence into this project, passionately so, and you have made us so successful. And I know that you're all watching where Ever you are around the, the globe. Thank you ever so much, dear colleagues. You have done a fantastic job. Thank you all very much. Right, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, now you will hear a few more things from some colleagues of mine. You can see the uh, Karok has turned out a real proper Škoda. That is obvious, and we will show you, and uh, we will give evidence to that fact. Uh, but firstly, with information by my colleagues uh, Christian Struve and the exterior design director Karl Neuwald, and then afterwards, obviously, Werner Eichhorn and all of us around the Cars. But, Werner, the floor is yours. What a wonderful car. I think we're going to really have a lot of fun with this car. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you very cordially to the world premiere here in Stockholm, the world premiere of Karak. Only nine months after the presentation of the Kodiak in Berlin, I'm happy to present the second new model to you in the possibly hottest segment worldwide, the compact SUV segment. Well, the brand claims simply clever. This this is the claim under which the brand Skoda has developed dynamically over the last 10 years. Our deliveries increased from 550,000 in 2006 up to 1.1 million in 2016, and therefore we could double our volume in just one decade. Within this time frame, China has been developed into our biggest individual market. Last year, for the very first time, we sold more than 300,000 um, units, vehicles there Octavia in Europe with the Fabia, Kombi, the Octavia and the Superb estate, we developed to be the number one brand in the estate segment. About 50% of all our European Skoda customers would opt for an estate version of the car. Our brand is characterized by defined and independent positioning. It's all about superior space that it offers, best functionality, um, supported by a whole variety of simply clever items and a very and the best price performance ratio with the superb and the new Kodiak. We really also introduced top down our new crystalline design language in order to really increase the emotiveness of the brand in brand in visible fashion. And over the last two and over the last two and a half years we also um, realigned our um, sales organization and prepared it for the product initiative. More than two thousand seven hundred hundred Skoda partners have invested into the CI and CD and the new CI and CD and to optimize customer service. And now um, this is the second and definite, not the last step on our road to SUV. The SUV segment is going to be, in a sustainable fashion, the second strong pillar of Skoda, the brand Skoda. So with the Kodiak, um, we were very successful already. So uh, 
After uh, just two months after the launch, we already had 37,000 customer orders. And now we have the second model of this SUV initiative. And um, the now we, in, we created this independent family of names. The Kodiak, as well as the Croc, has its origin in the west of Alaska. And you might remember the strong support that we got from Kodiak Island and its inhabitants. The mayor, Pat Brayson, actually went to Berlin last time, right, in order to process, be present during the first live presentation. And she also supported us very strongly in terms of the Karok, actively so. But go and look at this yourselves. Not just to identify us, but also they bring up parts of our imagination. Hi, I'm Pat Branson, the mayor of the city of Kodiak, and welcome back to our lovely island. This year, Skoda asked to propose a new name for their latest car. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Grizz. <laughs> and it's silver, like a king salmon, right? The flame. <laughs> Maybe it could have a weather name. You're trying to find a name for it? <laughs> I don't know. Ach, yuck. Ice bug. Hua, hua. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish, bro. <laughs> the Aleutic word for car is karak. Uh, oh, yeah. The Inuit people would call it rook because of the, the arrow. How about if we combine two and karak? For this name? For this car. Oh. And call it a kara? Yeah. Car and rock, and Kodiak being the rock, which we live on. Karak. Hey, Kodiak, we need some help. We got some friends who are back in town. The mayor's walking all around. We're talking names is the thing that we gotta put down. We got our friends from Skoda back here. Been too long, it's been over a year. We got a name that we gotta find. Hello and goodbye. That is very good. So, dear Pat and all the people from Kodiak Island, we know that you are connected with us via internet tonight. Thanks again for your great help, and we wish you all the best in faraway Alaska, and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Well, dear guests, after the Kodiak, now the Karok. So with this, we now have two models in the hottest segment on a worldwide basis. The compact SUV segment is the growth segment in the automotive industry. Last year, globally, more than 7.3 million customers opted for a vehicle in this particular segment. So this number has tripled over the last couple of years, and uh, this is something which will also continue along these lines in all the important regions of the world. So the new Karok really sets a clear-cut trend in the compact SUV segment. Main target group for our new vehicle will be a young families, simple operation, high variability. All of this makes it uh, the perfect daily companion. But also the target group of the so-called empty nesters will obviously appreciate the qualities of the new Karok. Well, dear guests, we're very happy about the high loyalty of our customers, Skoda customers, and we are convinced that uh, thanks to the expressive design and superior product characteristics, we can also convince new customers and make them enthusiastic for our brand, those who ne wouldn't have necessarily thought about buying a Skoda in the past. So after this event here, many more events will follow suit directly after this event here for uh, the uh, Skoda Karok, the finals of the Ice Hockey World Championships in Cologne and then the Tour de France in July, and then also it will be the center of attention of the product presentation, presentation during the Frankfurt Motor Show. The launch will start at the end of October in the selected markets. In China, the production will already uh, start um, in November, and the launch will then follow suit in the first quarter of 2018. Well, dear guests, the Kodiak is our first fully connected vehicle with 100% connectivity. And with Karok, we uh, continue along these lines, and our dealers are enthusiastic about it and communicate it in that fashion as well to our customers, and this is what we'd like to show you in this little video clip. But let me also um, welcome and announce Christian Struber. He's going to tell you all 
the details concerning this wonderful car. I thank you for your attention, and I wish you lots of fun with the new Skoda Karok and a wonderful evening. I think that's just a bit weird. It's the future. <laughs> I doubt that's legal. Today, I have a little trick up my sleeve. To show the remote access capabilities of Skoda Connect to our customers in a surprising way, the doctor and I have created an implant device in my forearm. I'm going to try to persuade some of our customers to have the implant done themselves right here in the dealership. I want to show you this car. Right, yes, thank you. It's a Kodiak. Mm -hmm. It's got full connectivity. Did I tell you about Skoda Connect? No, what's that? It's this. So it's a device that you can have implanted in your arm. That, that's weird. Yeah. That's... I, nah, it's sort of winning me over. If the doors are locked or if they're unlocked. For example, if you're in a car park and you don't know where your car is, you swipe there and then press this. And what happens? You hear? The door thing goes. Oh! It actually works. Of course it works. It's in your arm, though. It's in your arm, yeah, so it's always with you. It's kind of a wasted bit of flesh otherwise. You can load it up on GPS and you can see like, to meters where your car is. It's oh, got I suppose you never lose your car keys, because you just, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Range. Really? No, 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 look, look, look. You can find out where your car is on a map. We've got a doctor down there. He used to be a vet, but he's kind of a doctor now, and he will actually do that for you on site. There's the doctor. Hello, doctor. Another happy patient. Does he go Feeling one? good? Yeah, he's, he's got wireless charging, so you don't need to plug yourself in. I've never heard of things like this before. Oh, yeah, because it's new. This is a prank. Th oh. This doesn't really... Oh, God! <laughs> it looks so real. It's an app on your phone, that's what it is. Do you know, I'm so relieved. I... <laughs> I've just been tricking you, there's hidden cameras. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Skoda. Simply clever. Man muss sie sich ja nicht gleich okay, implantieren okay. lassen. Okay, okay, you don't necessarily need to have the implants straight away, but it really is a bloody good app, the Skoda Connect app of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased that all of you have made your way to Stockholm today to uh, really get a first live peek on our new SUV, the Skoda Karok. We have spent years working hard at all on this new SUV, and we are, of course, now enthused and eager to present the corrupt to you, finally pre presented to you today. We developers are often said to be rather dry people, but we can be really emotional and passionate when it is about finding clever solutions to enable good design and innovative technology. And once more, we've managed to do this with fresh, clear lines. We have transferred our emotional SUV design language to make it fit this new Skoda Karok. So after the Kodiak, the Skoda Korok now takes the next step, a consistent step in the emotional presentation of our brand. Now, on the topic of design and how traditional Czech craftsmanship has an influence on this uh, Škoda design, um, you will hear from Karl Neuhout in a moment. Now, our youngest baby has been endowed with absolutely everything and anything you need to succeed in the hotly competitive automotive world of today. And to make sure that we get there, we have taken it through innumerable real, virtual and any other test you could ever think of. And as you might have heard, over the past few years, we've done more than 2.5 million test kilometers on roads and trails around the globe. Actually, it corresponds to 60 times around the world. Yes, we are absolutely definite that we will open another chapter of success in the segment of compact SUVs. For me as a developer, though, one thing is absolutely crucial. The Skoda Karok has all top-notch technologies on board, and we're very pleased that we can actually 
actually offer our clients so many clever innovations in this segment. The Škoda Karok, just for example, has, for the first time ever, a fully digitized, freely programmable, uh, programmable instrument panel. In doing so, we are taking the next step towards full digitization. It has full LED headlights and a new infotainment generation with a 9.2-inch display, intelligent driver assistance systems that add a high degree of additional safety and additional comfort to the car. Amongst those, let me mention front assist with predictive pedestrian protection, park assist with a quick special braking functions, pre-crash in connection with a post-collision brake, an emergency assist uh, that will safely bring the vehicle to a halt after having given you some initial warnings, a blind spot detection system that monitors the blind spot for you, lane assist monitoring systems and an adaptive cruise control system that works up to 210 kilometers per hour, including a jam assistant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, there is a whole host of very, very good and very clever systems that make everyday driving more comfortable and safer. But there is still more. With a Škoda Karok, you are always online. Our customers will always be online. Our latest infotainment systems use uh, Škoda Connect and very quickly link driver and passenger very quickly and automatically with the internet. And of course, all of the Kodiak's uh, mobile online services are all there in the Karok as well. And through our online traffic information system, we will always navigate you um, to your target on the fastest route. And also with our Škoda Connect app, remote access to your car via smartphone is always possible. And the best thing is you can do it without needing an implant to get there. Now, but when you have an accident, uh, the Karok sends an automatic emergency call, and you also have a direct link to the Škoda service, who will answer all of the questions, any questions you might ever have, with Mirrorlink, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. All those systems stay as used. No wish for connectivity remains unanswered. But with all innovation and connectivity, we're still not forgetting the functionality, top functionality, in fact, that uh, is uh, so interesting about all of the Škoda models. Of course, you find lots of Simply Kever solutions. An ice scraper in the filler cap, for example, an umbrella under the passenger seat, a torch in the boot, and lots of drink holders all over the car, and a double loading tray, obviously, in the boot. Now, developing that kind of clever thing, that is what we really enjoy. That really gets us going. And there is another interesting highlight. We actually have the option of personalization of vehicle settings for up to three different drivers. Up to 200 settings can simply and easily be personalized and pre-programmed, for example, for infotainment, air conditioning, or driver assistance systems, or even the seat settings. Based on the key, these settings are automatically recognized and set automatically and accordingly in the car, and I will promise that you will not despair when grappling with new technology, because that is our core motto, simply clever. We want everything to be simply clever when it comes to operability. Functionality also includes the package, obviously, and there, Skoda is very much at the forefront. A best-in-class storage space is 521 liter, and when you fold down the seats, it's a gigantic six 1630 liters. And there has also been clever use made of the interior space. So you can have a truly roomy feeling when you sit in there. Just give it a try. Typically Skoda, obviously. Perfectly balanced and all round for absolutely everyone. The Skoda Karok could be at the new benchmark. One Karok offers 100% of what a Skoda customer needs and wants for his or her life. You'll notice that with the engines as well. Well, amongst the petrol engines, we're offering a one liter three cylinder. Um, engine with 85 kW and a 1.5 litre TSI with 110 kW. You can have it as a six-gear manual drive or a seven-gear DSG. As diesels, there are two especially economical models with great torque engines, a 1.6 litre TDI with 85 kW and a two-litre TDI in two performance ranges, ranges with 110 or 140 kW and 400 newton meters. Of course, we've got 
all-wheel drive on offer too, because we are an all-wheel brand and an all-road brand. Now, with our driving profiles and the choice of driving profiles, you are always right on whichever ground you're driving. Ladies and gentlemen, what you can see once more, the heart, the blood, and the passion of the whole Škoda team has gone into this car. And we've already had so much positive feedback from all the customers who've tried. The car simply fits. It gets it right. I hope you'll enjoy a great evening with lots of interesting talks. Carl, the stage is yours. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me talk about the design of the new Skoda Kavok. Well, if you just imagine, four years ago, we started um, coming up with the first sketches and new ideas, with a lot of fun, I would say. But despite of all that, you see the result of the fun we had, the new Skoda Kavok, a typical genuine Skoda because this new car is definitely in line with the new brand DNA and strategy. It's clear, precise, crystalline. It is a car which is fantastic because it's timeless and modern in its design. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let us have a look at the front part, front section of the new Skoda. Karok. Now here you see the Škoda logo well exposed and here you see this wide power dome typical for the SUV and the horizontal lines that more or less go like a belt all around the whole car. And then in the front section here this is proud and uh, three-dimensional and big and here you see the bumpers and how it's all nicely embedded and the double slats of of the radiator grill. All of this is continued along these eyelashes here of the lights and you see it's all lit as well. It's crystalline and lit. And we did something else and this is typical for an SUV. Now you see the fog lights. We actually moved them up. We moved them up to the main headlight. And so with this we created a completely new character for the vehicle. Now. Let's move to the side of the Škoda Karok. You see the whole side and you see the dynamic roof development, the silhouette. So it's um, a very generous um, design also around the windows, the window surfaces. And here we have this nice chrome rim all around. And then it's all about quality also on the side. Obviously, it starts here with this super precise tornado line that really stretches the car and really makes it very three-dimensional. Last not least, the whole body, well, it's sculptured in a particular fashion because what we wanted here is to focus also especially on the wheel arches to really turn it into a very active kind of car and then here around the doors robust materials in order to really focus on the off-road character of this new vehicle now the rear section of the car now you see it's all dynamically shaped and designed, so light and shade is combined really nicely in order to give a structure to the rear section, in order to really give it a great show here. So here it's all very expressive, especially the rear lights, the tail lights, and here you see the Skoda typical C design here. And you see, we have this very fine, clearly cut, um, crystalline cut of the lights. Well, and with this, I would like to wish you lots of fun with the new Škoda Karok. Thank you. Karl, thank you for your wonderful presentation.
Thank you very much Meine for Damen your Herren, exciting presentation. And Freigeben, now, ladies and gentlemen, before the stage is free to all of Abends. you, let me just Zunächst point out the following things. Well, first of all, members of the board, please join me here on the stage for photo shooting. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the stage is free for all of you. Go and have a look at the Skoda Kavrok right here on stage. And we're looking forward to having conversations with you right here on stage. And then we're going to celebrate later on. We have a great musical surprise for you later on. I wish you all a wonderful evening. Thank you. Das war die Weltpremiere des neuen Skoda Karok. Schön, dass Sie zugesehen haben. Wir wünschen Ihnen noch einen schönen Abend. Wir zeigen Ihnen jetzt noch ein paar Highlights aus der Show und ich sag Hey aus Schweden. <lacht>